Thank you for joining. I think uh, a lot of things we have to talk about today. And uh, don't be mistaken because uh, this is the hour for us to change our revolution, for us to, uh, you know, decide on exactly what we need and how we want to do this because this is a fight that is, uh, you know, like impossible for us. To, to lose at this time. So when you try and you share extensively, you bring everybody on board, you know, because uh, uh, we feel particularly elated that we have for you, all of you have, uh, you know, following up very closely, uh, you know, ensuring that we we have the best uh, as far as this uh, broadcast is concerned. I think uh, I am very elated because of, uh, you know, the the atmosphere today i think everything is on track everything is really good and uh, we are looking forward to seeing uh, you know everybody stay positive everybody stay committed uh you know once once you join you you start typing free sesequio cabbage areas we will have to start a very special campaign for reasons i'm going to explain to us and uh, you know i want you all to understand how much it is important for us to stay committed as far as this movement is concerned you know and uh, we uh, will not hesitate to ensure that we we block everybody on live show who is coming to to disturb us so i'm just going to be blocking you right up here and ensure that you get off the show. So that is what I'll do. Uh, like I'll just block Salas uh, Isaka. So these are people who come to distract, and there's no more time for distraction. Uh, I think we have to stay focused. So please, when you join, you share extensively. Let's have everybody on board. Thank you so much. At last, uh, my Eric Tato account is back. I know a lot of people didn't know this account is back, but I think that is what I see now. I think it's really back. And so I want to thank you all very much for your undiluted support, for all you do in promoting the show. Please, when you join, share extensively. Let's get, get it out there to everybody, be it on Facebook and WhatsApp or whatever. Uh, let's get everybody on, on block, you know, so that we can, we can pass this message we good and we hard. Uh, today, I'll be talking a couple of things and um, it will interest you to understand that it is phenomenal for us to understand what the mafia and the game that the BR regime and the Francophones are playing on us. And we have to keep our sight very tight in order to be able to get uh, our liberation without without any, any worries. You know, what is essential, it is for us all to understand the very important necessity uh, as far as this movement is concerned which is in one way or the other embedded in our spirits and in the spirit of the revolution you as you're already aware there is uh, there is no one person who uh, can at this juncture uh, you know deny that the reason there isn't a, a force in this revolution an extra force that seemingly comes from God and so when you look at all of these things happening at this time, you would want to accept with me that it is uh, phenomenal for us all who are watching and following this show, 
uh, to understand the necessity of uh, you know the magnitude of uh, of our show. So we we keep our we keep ourselves uh, very very uh, you know committed uh, because we understand that uh, this movement is our life, and that is why I'm calling on you all to not to hesitate in your you know in your demands and in your contributions uh, towards the movement. It is uh, a rare privilege to understand that every Southern Cameroonian already by now knows that it is only a matter of a duty to uh, you know push forward uh, this revolution to a logical conclusion. And as I always say that a, a, the, the independence of Southern Cameroons is, uh, is a function of your commitment, of your determination to liberate homeland. We're sorry we're starting a little bit late, uh, behind schedule, but, uh, but, but may, I, may I say very, very clearly that uh, there are issues that are not debatable in this, in this revolution. There are issues, you know, there is, there is a line, there is a finish line to every particular, uh, you know, agenda. And uh, each time we get to that line, we, we can't come back uh, because of a lot of reasons. And I'm going to tell you people, uh, you know, a lot of things today in this live show. And uh, I want us all to understand the necessity of what we are fighting for. Uh, like I've said, that there are things that we cannot discuss anymore in this revolution. And one of those things uh, is federation. One of those things is federation. You have listened to Longer Longer singing, uh, Papa, you don't know about Waco. You know, basically, he was singing about federation, cooked by the Munas, the Balas, uh, the Kamtus, and the rest. And uh, when I listened to that music the first time, it was a very beautiful music. But when I came to realize that the music is cooked in the spirit of federation, in the spirit of people who don't care about those who have died, in the spirit of people who only think that uh, a nasty idea, I call federation a nasty idea because at this juncture, it is uh, a, a treason. You know, anybody talking federation in Southern Cameroon, I want to be clear about this fact. You know, it is not about the fact that we don't want people's opinion. What we are saying is that those who are discussing federation at this time of this revolution will be charged with treason in Amazonia. This fact should be made clear and the powers that be should be taking account of those who are preaching this nonsense called federation of those who are trying to lure the population into that cocoon of slavery called federation. Let us be very clear that to me, federation is a hocus pocus. It's a hocus pocus. Hocus pocus is something that diverts our attention from the real issue. You know, I feel very betrayed and uh, the bloods of Mami Api Samsoya uh, Victor and all our children and mothers and brothers and sisters that have died in this revolution and looking up to Christian, uh, His Eminence Christian Cardinal Tumi, Agbobala, Dr. Monzo, and the rest of these federalists who are preaching nonsense. Let me explain to you what I mean by the fact that federation is the highest treason, is the hugest treason that anybody can commit in Amazonia is in fact you have come to understand that this revolution has taken a stand and a shape that even the Yaoundé regime is baffled is astounded is bamboozled by the strength and the determination of the people you see all the Kawalaks and the rest of these you know, funny human beings from across the Mongo and others from Southern Cameroon who have sold their souls to the devil are beginning to preach an impossible motive. I call federation an impossible motive 
because that that is an aspect that is unacceptable it's an agenda that is out of place and that you see the rest of these people are trying to force it on us we will not let me let me say this very clearly if for those of you who go to the walls of these federalists and begin to patronize them i think you are worse than the federalists we have to each time you, they go out there you have to make a hard and straight comment reminding them of the number of people who have died as a result of this revolution let us be clear i will get the message on we have at least 500 person russian so we already have uh, quite a huge amount you know especially uh, given that uh, you know we are using this speech uh, after a long while so we thank you all for coming and we want to pass this message to president-elect maurice Camtu and to all these people some of you saw how uh, earlier today, we published that National Telegraph can authoritatively, we published and we tweeted, because we have had our source from Elecam that has briefed us that Maurice Camtu has won the elections. And uh, everyone beyond gave a fake results for the BBC to test. Uh, when I published that, a couple of Francophone friends contacted me and they were happy about the publication. And that has spurred uh, President-elect Maurice Camtu to get a very strong team. You saw uh the the live show that um, every king i just did and you saw that a lot of things have changed in la republic to come home but then what is the lesson from this change and this is the one thing that we must all understand by now that the sincerity of this revolution has beaten completely absolutely beating the motive of the federalists who want to think that we would have to communion according to their own dispensation. Now, let me pass this message to all those of you on ground zero, especially to you, Christian Cardinal Tomi, to you, Dr. Monzo, and to you, uh, Barista Agbobala. I think if Ellie Smith is watching this, he should take this message to them in one piece, that the worst thing they will do is to write a, non a non-estical you know, a, a criminal and uh, an unprecedented, you know, unprecedented kind of, you know, uh, uh, I don't know how to put it, resolution from the whatsoever meeting they are going to hold. Let it, let it be very clear that Southern Cameroonians have decided what they want. And if, is my volume not good? Uh, let me try to fix the volume. I don't know what's going on, but I'll see. I think a couple of people complaining about the volume. Uh, let me, except it's your device, please. Is it, if the volume is good, let's say volume is good. I don't know what's going on. Is my volume good? Just say yes, 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 yes. Testing, testing the volume. Let's see what's going on. Let me, let me get this. Okay, somebody says I need ever sing anthem. I'll play anthem after this. That's a good, uh, good suggestion. I think it's true. Those are things that we also have to consider. So, uh, is the volume good? Please, if the volume is good, you say okay. If it's good, let me know, please. So, I am saying that all those of you on Grand Zero, take it from me that there is never a day we are going to discuss federation in the way that, you know, uh, okay, the volume is good, so I can now take the show now straight up and discuss these things hard as possible. Now, I want you all to listen, and I want this message to go straight to Ellie Smith, who is acting there as the communication man of the G A G C whatever. You know, let it go straight to them that there is a new and popular demand. There is a paradigm shift, what we call the bandwagon effect. And if I were Barista Bala, Kadena Tumi, and Dr. Monzo, I would have just fallen into that kind of dimension where, where in the popular side where everybody talks only of independence. Now, let me be clear with you. And um, for the many people who don't know and who are still doubting, let us get this very straight. Ladies and gentlemen, just one minute. Okay, I'll put this on silence. Now, the, the, the people on Grand Zero 
have shown a unanimous, you know, future of the revolution. Why do I call the future unanimous? You know, you know, listen, our independence is already there. And we want to send this as a clear warning to Barista Bala, Dr. Munzo, and Christian Cardinal Tumi. I am opportune to do this show on your birthday. You know, Christian Cardinal Tumi is a cardinal priest and one of the longest serving men of God in, as far as the Catholic religion is concerned. Let it go clearly to them that it will be a matter of life and death for them and anything related to them, for them to force by any means their ideology and their, their insignificant ideas and positions on the people of Southern Cameroon. I call the ideas and positions because the their position, let me let me let me just say let me lose the singular here. Their position is infinitesimal, is insignificant and redundant. And these are the things they must know. If you have other Anglo Francophone politicians joining our brothers and trying to cajole and placate our people on ground zero to talk federation, it is not going to work. We will not even take a one state federation. I mean, like we will not take a one state federation. Listen, let me be clear. Like the one to say that only that we don't want to have anything to do with those people across the Mongol. Listen, let's not get confused. I've been talking with some Francophone activists. I've been talking with them and I've made my position very clear to them. And they too have made their positions clear. And let us be clear once and for all. There is a line that has been drawn. Our Francophone friends across the Mongo, they have never protested supporting us even after 8,000 people have been killed. It, it baffles me, first and foremost, that an event that could, could have been considered, could have been considered significant in the lives of Southern Cameroonians was moved to the enemy's economic capital, which is Douala. And so I think that, first of all, that's why I say it's insignificant because you can be discussing issues, marital issues that concerns a family. You cannot come for no door and you're doing it in another person's house when the real woman that you're supposed to get married to is in another house. Southern Cameroon is not Douala. And let Christian Kadnatumi, Dr. Munzu, and Agobala, let them know, Barista Agobala, let them know for a fact that we are not in that their federation discussion. They should remove what is the parameter, the yardstick for saying that you are holding a conference on behalf of Anglophones. When the men separatist leaders, us, the rebels, when we are not there, that is death on arrival. It is, we are sorry for that little interruption. Let us get this fact clear. These are things that, are not, that, that cannot be hidden. You see, they are beginning to cajole our people trying to let them know. You follow one uh, 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 montage, one video or audio that is put with pictures that, well, I was this man's name, I've forgotten his name, that he was talking about how uh, people are here that are enjoying, people are dying in the bushes and stuff like that. He's talking how school is good, uh, people should go to school, if you, children have to go to school. You listen to that audio, I'll find time to play that. And when I listened to it, I laughed because the person who is in that video is a clown. Why do I say that person is a clown? Because the person said that the revolution has been changed, has been converted from a peaceful protest to what? An armed conflict. And he thinks that the revolution has been hijacked. It is the same way a man would say that a butterfly has hijacked a caterpillar. No. There are life cycles of anything. Even, even a human being has a life cycle. If you don't want to make everything Tato, don't have my mother will not have had sex. If you don't want to keep a pet, go don't go and buy them. If you don't want to make poultry, don't get don't get chicks or chickens or fowls and don't let them lay eggs. So everything has a, a stage. So you cannot say that because we have changed. There, there is a movement. The American War of Independence that was fought for 8.4 years. 
did not just start as an American war of independence. It started by simple agitations. Countries have broken away because of simple agitations. That is why we were honorable. We were told the kangaroo court that two cubes of sugar will not be melted. And that when this poll will rise, even uh, Barista Bobala, the person who was making noise in that audio was never known. He's using his paid tongue to come and be trying to confuse people, but we will never get confused because there is already the time that he was supposed to be doing this thing that he was supposed to be doing now has passed because we already have a mental liberation. There is mental freedom where boys are ready to fight even with their bare bare hands to get this independence for even the people who live behind nobody is afraid anymore we are not afraid that is why we can talk you are not afraid so all these people trying to push federation we want to make it very clear to them that is death on arrival and they will pay they will pay dearly they will pay so dearly for trying to trying to undermine the sacrifices and the bloods of mami api and the rest of our mothers that have been burnt alive. These are people who go to meetings talking on behalf of Anglophones and they have never bothered to mention about the deaths of our people. Have you ever seen uh, uh, Dr. Munzo come out one day condemning the number of people that have been killed? No. Yes, Barista Abobala tries with his NGO. Christian Kadinatumi has also never condemned it. He has never talked openly that, no, what BI is doing is genocide. They are playing politics and thinking that we are going to follow them. Let's be clear. We are, we, are, we, are, we are at war. And we will stop at nothing until we get independence. I mean, independence or nothing. And America fought for 8.4 years. We will fight and get this independence soon. But if it means that we should fight this war for 30 years, we are going to fight. And let the Republic know that if we can't have Ambazonia, they too will not have the Republic. And a time is going to come. It's going to come when we would ensure that there will be maximum damage across the Mongo. Let us be clear with these people that it is no longer a matter of jail of rights. It is not a romance. It is pure war. And all of you preaching that federation stop, you, you had better stop. You have been listening. If you see people who don't know what they are saying, you, you will know. Now, you think our interests it's about rebuilding our villages. No. They have killed 8,000 people and many more uncounted, unaccounted for. Nobody, nobody can replace human life. No one person. And so there is no way, there is no way we can discuss issues of federation with the Republic to come around. Like the other people are running their mouths, making some crazy rantings on Grand Zero, on how the majority of the people are people want federation. That is a cacophony. It is an irony of exceptional class. In fact, it is it is it is a satire that cannot be measured to even the best ones written by William Shakespeare. Let me be clear: if majority of the people wanted federation, for example. We will not be having people holding arms. Why is it that everywhere across southern Cameroon there are armed groups? So you want federation is demanded with arms as much as independence? No. You have followed videos. People are marching, celebrating 1st October. Is 1st October a day for a federation? No. It was a day for independence. So you have to put one and two together to know. In fact, everybody knows. Even Mr. Bia, even Kamtu, even Bala Kadinatumi, everybody knows that those who ask for for federation are less than 20. Yes, I can say it. You people are not up to 20 who want, who want federation. It's less than 20 people want federation out of 10 million people. If you want to go by that formula, let's go. If you doubt it, come and organize a UN-sponsored referendum and see, in fact, you, when you do that referendum, that is when you will know that not up to every three persons even those of you who are in that conference, you will not even vote for that federation. So, we don't want you to be playing politics with the lives of 10 million people. We are saying this now because the time will come when we will start giving orders for some processes that are peculiar in this revolution to be, to be applied on some of you. So, we want this fact to be clear that we are not and will never discuss federation. It is not a thing 
that will be discussed at any level in Southern Cameroon. This takes me to another very important point that I want to draw your attention to, ladies and gentlemen. One of my sickest stringers from across the Mongo just informed me of something very significant in our struggle for us to compare. Now, do you know who is called Okala? You know any Okala? It's not Okala. It's called Okala. Huh? Okala Edude. You know? You know who knows a Okala? Ed, ed, is it Edube? Ed, Edude? No. B. Ebude. Yes. I think that is the name. Okala Ebude. Ebude. That's E B O D E. I hope I got that pronunciation correctly. Now, that is the treasurer of Maurice Camtou's uh, uh, Renaissance uh, Party. Now, he was arrested. And after the live show from Paul Eric King, what happened? They have released him. They released somebody that is challenging something that Atanganji Paul calls outlaw. And for months, they are still keeping Tesequa Yuktabe Julius. So this, this action alone today should sing a clear song to you that for, the only way for us to get these people to talk is to do maximum damage. Now, they released the treasurer of Maurice Camto's party after a live show from uh, 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 Paul Eric King threatening her to the government. They are scared, but we are happy that we know that, of course, Mr. 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 Maurice Camto has won and Mr. Bia is still in the election because I have the facts from Elekan. If Kamto wants to allow Bia to steal his election, that is his problem. But we are not talking this by any means to say that we are talking about something contrary to Ambazonia. No. They have their issues and they will solve them. But we will support anybody who is for justice while we are also fighting to get our country back. Now, they have released Okara, treasurer for, of Maurice Kamto's what? Renaissance Party. Now, what is this telling us? Sese Kwayoktabe Chilios, an innocent man, was picked, blindfolded, and then shipped to La Republic du Cameroon dungeon. And for all these months, we have protested, crying, and they have held him in total captivity, denying him and his cabinet and other Southern Cameroonians held in various detention centers across La Republic du Cameroon. The chance of having a fair hearing, a single appearance in court. But they released another person who would want to expect that, if, although none of them is guilty, just like uh, uh, Okala that was arrested, he's not guilty of any crime like Sisiku, but they have now released their Francophone brother because they are scared that they don't want uprising. So now let us make this point very clear. We have to multiply our incentives. That is why it is very important for all Southern Cameroonians who are watching me at this time, especially those of you on Grand Zero, never ever to listen to anybody telling you anything like drop your arms. You would only drop your arms like V. Marshall said, when we see Sisiku and all our brothers out from the jails, safe, sound, checked by the medical doctor and certified as being in good health, and when we have our flags flying in parts of all parts of Southern Cameroon, our flag flying in all parts of Southern Cameroon, that is the only time that we would drop our arms down. Let me be clear with you that you have the right to defend yourselves. The release of Okala is a big signal and a victory to us as Amazonians. It is a clear proof of the nefarious and bad ill intention of the government of Paul, of Peter Atanganji. Let us be very clear that we have our own brothers in the regime who are slaughtering their own people. For somebody like Paul or Peter Tanganji, who stole the 
twin brother's name, you know that he's a blood-sucking zombie who has lived on blood all his life. What would you imagine of a man who killed his own twin brother? He and stole his certificate, stole his identity, and is now parading the streets of Yaoundé, calling himself a minister of territorial administration. I don't know which territory he's con controlling in southern Cameroon. No wonder Paul Eric Kinge was referring to him and saying that it's good to go to school. Because at Tanganji Paul, everybody knows that Tanganji Peter is a stark, as a stark fraud star who never went to any school yet is purporting to be a minister of territorial administration. Let us be clear that they arrested Okara released him after a few days following the one live show from Paul Eric King and other announcements from Francophones who are pro Maurice Camto saying that they will go to the street. They think that is going to stop it. They have already pulled a fine machinery to steal the elections in order to ensure that they keep us in complete captivity. Let us be clear that it depends on Maurice Camto if he wants to allow Bia to remain in power. And oh man, they say Bia is 85, 86. No, Bia is at least, at least 100 plus. Because you know, he has doctored his age. That is a man who cannot think. A man who does not know how to write anymore. A man whose signature is forged by those at the presidency. A man who takes no decision. A man who is remote controlled. A man who is on diapers. A man who cannot even do anything. Who cannot think, who cannot stay on phone for even 10 minutes. Listen, let me tell us the truth. We want to be clear about this fact. That all of us should know and understand the intention of this, our people across the moment. Now, with this said, let us get this point straight and very straight. Anglophones, us Ambazonians, we have to remain completely committed. We have to avoid getting distracted, but we also have to put on the wall and on the balance and give strokes to people who want to disturb our revolution. Now, I go to this other very important point. And just so that you know, let us get it very clean and clear that La Republique will never give us independence the way we think. So we, 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 have, to remain, we have to remain exactly, exactly committed. Now, I was going to talk about how we're going to defend ourselves. This one is very important. And let's listen very attentively, share extensively to everybody. Now, you know that there is a standing order for every Ambazonian to be killed when they see them. Mr. Bia has positioned his terrorist in the name of soldiers to kill everything in the name of Ambazonia. Now, this is what we should take home as a lesson. You must remember these things I'm going to tell you. Those of you in the diaspora, the first thing that you have to do, it is send credit to your relatives' home, get them good Android phones that they will keep in sacred locations around the houses, kept sacredly. I will explain the use of these Android phones. This, this show is very important at this juncture. When we get to, we're already almost 1,000 people watching live, so let's bring everybody and get even 2,000 people on this show today. Now, listen very attentively. Let us be clear on this point. Now, those of you in the diaspora, you have to equip your families with good phones. I want to give us a strategy to beat the enemy where they'll be unable to get into houses and start shooting people. You know that once the enemy, once the terrorist soldiers starts to break into houses, once they have broken into a house, or once they are attempting to, to break a house, what is going to happen is this. They, are already, they have already occasioned their minds and consciences to shoot and kill anybody that is an ambassador. Let us get this straight. Once, when you hear your door, they are chiseling your door, you, you, you know that you are a dead person. And do not, do not listen very attentively because this is what the education that our people have not had. I want you to take this and then you translate it to your family members back home. Before, one of the self-defense methods that I've proposed 
was for all everybody in the diaspora to put iron doors in their houses, get to weathers, let them get put iron doors and put in your houses, and then carpenters will concrete it very well, good and thick doors, whereby it can take the terrorist soldiers some 30 minutes or more to destroy before they get in. You have to sacrifice that 50,000 to put those doors and ensure that you have an escape route, but you have to be strong. Now, listen to this strategy. This is not something to say in secret because it's what we need it to go viral. Even if the enemy knows they cannot, they don't have any counter strategy for it. Now, everybody in Ambazonia must own an Android phone. If you are in Douala, in that's in the La Republic uh, in Ambazonia, get Android phones to your people. They need it more. Give it to your family members. They need it more in Ambazonia. Those of you in the diaspora, you have to buy it for them. Now, this is the secret. When you have your Android phone in your house, you have to make sure that these people have uh, uh, VPN and credit. They have, they have data to put on their internet. And all of you must download Facebooks and those phones must be kept secretly and you must not take those phones out during the day. Hide them so that the terrorists will not see them. When you hear somebody breaking your door, put your Facebook, make sure that when you put it, you copy the link and share it on WhatsApp. And if you see, put danger in my house. That is the headline that you put on that post. So all on your phones, danger in my house. That is the DA of the struggle. Danger in my house. This is very important. You immediately shoot live. Put your Facebook on live. Everybody teach your phone how to go live. Put your Facebook on live and then you immediately put danger in my house. As they are knocking your door, you are making commentaries that we are here with my children. These are my children and the soldiers are trying to break into my house. It should be going live. They cannot get you and you are making live. Making phone calls. Do not stay. That is a very major form of form of defense. Your Facebook must be on live. Please share this video to get to everybody. As you hear your door, whether it's fake amber or it's military, put it live. That already is a scare tactic because the world will be watching. We will immediately take it and share. And as they are taking the live, they are doing it live there. Those of us who are in the diaspora. You should immediately copy that video and put it on YouTube, the short portion, because if they succeed in breaking, they are going to take that phone and delete that video from our people. But you can also make a way to ensure that you either hide that phone far away and then you stand now to defend yourselves. You must put the phone on Facebook Live. When the military is, broke, is, 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 is breaking into your house, you are running commentaries. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here in Mutengene, and as you can hear, the military is trying to break into my house. Look at me. I don't have no weapon, but I'm going to get my cutlass to defend myself because I'm not, I'm not fighting. I'm a civilian, an, in, an innocent citizen staying in my house, and the military is trying to break my house. That is, you put the, the heading must be danger in my house. Each time you see danger in my house, just a share. Share to us. Call our attention. We will now call, direct that person, put your phone number online. You can call somebody who is your relative. We have to look at other strategies to reduce the death tolls. Now, we must equip our families with Android phones and networks and internet credit at all times. All the time, we must, they must have phones with data ready to shoot Facebook. When you hear your door, bam, bam, just go Facebook Live. Go for Facebook. Just go Facebook, click Live, and you start filming. Ooh, ooh. Two or three friends will pick it up. So the S they they quote to assist you to get that video go viral is danger in my house or terrorists attacking my house live. Put something that will attract people. So once we see this, we will start sharing. Now while you are doing that, you can give your little child to hold the phone and tell. You have to position your family members to ensure because everybody has to defend themselves. Now. In your house, get pepper, enough pepper, put it in a container, warm water, get sprays like all these air pressures, get all of those things ready, and you stay on the wash with mortar pieces, you stay with cutlasses, you stay with every stick and weapon that you can defend yourselves. When they break into your house, know that they are coming to shoot and kill you. So when they are breaking, you are also there, ready to take out the hand or head of any soldier who is going to first show that 
stop. Once you're doing that, you are three of you people, you know you cannot escape because they will, they will kill you. So you have to fight. And maybe the Facebook Live will scare them already, but if they still succeed in breaking into your house, do not give them an easy ride. Make sure that you put them on the work. And you have your pepper ready, you have the one hot water, you have the, your cutlass, your mustard pistol. When they succeed in as you're there, they are breaking your door, they cannot just shoot in at once. What you do is that you stay on the various edges of your house where you can take them on ambush. And once they are coming in, you have enough pepper, red oil, anything that can make them to get them blinded. As they are entering, you put the water and the pepper on them, on their faces. And then you use the sticks and cutlasses to defend yourself. That is how we are going to go. That is the way we are going to go. The major thing we are going to do is having your phones on Facebook Live every time. So let us be clear about this fact. Our people have died enough and we must come out with better strategies to ensure that they get themselves protected. Know that if they are breaking into your house, you are a dead person if you don't fight. And sometimes those soldiers, they can come like 5, 6, 10. With the strategy you have, you can succeed in taking them all off without them touching your family. Because if one soldier is taken down or two or three, and they, even if they, they succeed in taking you guys down, which they're going to take you down anyway, if you do not fight back, it will send a very strong message to any other soldier or soldiers who will be coming to, 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 to break into people's houses. So this issue should be taken very seriously. Fight before you die. Do not just sit and die when you are not fighting. Because we have had these days they are only breaking into people's houses, removing them and killing them. They should not remove you like that. Know that once they are breaking into your house, get your Facebook live and then you fight the fight. So that when that fight is going viral, the Republic will know that we have had, we have gone a step for that. They will not just come anyhow because they will be seeing those videos live and they will not argue. The way we see it live, and that will call for more international intervention. So let's do this thing. Let's take it as a, a firm practice. That is what we're going to do. Now, let me go and talk this in pigeon. As they talk, say mommy and papa them when they live for Grand Zero. You're going to listen very attentively. Now, whether they don't really uh, government for Mr. Bia, you don't really get plan with the same soldiers. Maybe they come for house. Maybe they can't move from for house and kill them. Hide the key that part for Baton Tai. How they kill those white boys and for Mutengene. How they only kill everybody. When you be sleep for your house, make sure say you get phone where you are picking because now for you Android. They will teach you how to go Facebook Live. That are just five minutes. When you don't see, say they only knock your door. And all man must get good iron door. It's like for poor the villages and where they live for every, every area. When I get good iron door. Sometimes they say when I suspect say soldiers they go attack on When I feel move, when I go for some one particular place, when I for group. Like for one house, or the police will say, Oh, they can kill all my one time. No, because if they, they, they attack house on there, they, they broke like uh, 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 10 houses, them keep people there individually, and they go after one after the other. But even if they have one house for village, when they, they can't attack, once they broke the house, that group of uh, population will attack those soldiers. Then. So, soldiers and go in short, say they broke your house for attack you. But when they want to do, and so make sure, say you get your phone for Facebook Live. When you get your phone for Facebook Live, when they come, you go to show as you see me for Facebook. So now, so go to see them too live for any part of the way, and they're not going to say that they do a, 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 a genocide for Southern Cameroon. They're not going to get no way for argue. When we do that one too, make sure you get pepper, cold water, kerosene, petrol. I mean, everything way better all man born for the house than say me they can't kill you born, you're picking them go. So now, so get for do one because if you want fight, the fight will go wait and say they will broke your house, you start begging them, then they consider whether they need to ever consider why they will kill you or not. Because when they don't broke your house, they will kill you. You must fight back. If you take your picking them, you hide them for some side. If you move your picking them, if you say you want to stay, if you decide to stay back, you must fight. And that fight now say you're not going for space soldier. When you don't, they don't broke your house, take cover for different corner for house because they will enter and find you. If you stand corner door or some side for home or some technical side, they're not going to know side this time because they're not be magician. When they come, you ambush them to wave water for their skin, hot water for my eye, you know, if you shoot gun again or pepper or acid or anything because now so we'll get for defend ourselves now because they don't overkill people. Now, with that said, I think say we will use this time to for dedicate them for all fighters and where they defend homeland. And for thank everybody and for informing us, my every title account don't come back and say all my way to watch. Uh, people that they were complaining say, Oh, they need to see news for this page or for that page now because of the published news only for National Telegraph. 
and people the way they the one they follow news from Barcelona, why they for what's up you get for going up for one national telegraph page you go click on follow because for that page you know if you send friend request you only follow news page for the get news like each time we publish you'll get the information and it will come for your page so you go there you'll click on like and follow so that which time we post something you will see them so that many people they know the say oh we need to see news news is there for day 24 7. so it's easy for you for go for day you go click like and follow for national telegraph when you open facebook official you will see national telegraph or well, national telegraph now the one we get uh, uh nt we get the red and white nt so you will go there you will see them you ensure say you uh you get you get you get you get back uh to us now for they go to get news all time so i know Andy live show me long plans so that probably they watch on youtube may not bother them i want to just give the message very clean and clear and then we ensure say all man stay safe so not forget this strategy ensure say you get your phone for facebook live each time they book your door just a record they make commentary say they are now the soldiers are trying to break into my house this is this will take a live would move at one time put on youtube share and for twitter so that people will be seeing live will tag donald trump and they so that way now so we'll take a beat to the regime i'll come tomorrow or next tomorrow with many more ideas and as this opportunity for thank all my way if you come for your podcast support uh you know for kind of communion with me and in the process they support faco county and would we'll bring faco county people then soon online who can tell you how they receive their money and if they get any problem with the receipt of their money so thank you very much forget news not forget you got to go for eric tato page for facebook you click on follow uh, rather for national telegraph you click on follow and we will also the run on our youtube channel if you also go subscribe to our youtube channel because we will start going some shows and shows on youtube because facebook only over blog me for a very long time so thank you very much god bless you for youtube will be eric Tat uh, national telegraph all the professional channels for assist people that forget authentic news and the same thing for twitter so thank you very much. God bless you and stay blessed. Bye-bye.